Hey everyone, my name is Kumo and this is my reaction to the ninth episode of Darling in the Franks. So, in the last episode, they were battling some Klaxosaurus as they do, and when suddenly the great view that the guys already have in the cockpit got even better, when some of the uniforms started to melt. And, of course, the girls weren't nearly as happy about this as the guys were, so a bit of a disconnect there. In fact, they were so salty that they ended up separating off the dorm to put an end to their communal life. Girls on one side, guys on the other. And, yeah, the best thing about that is the fact that it screwed the girls over a lot more than the guys, and watching Miku get progressively more and more butthurt was definitely half the fun of that. And also the other half was just how Zero Two just didn't care at all for their shenanigans. They were just like, hey, I'm going to hang out with Darlene. You guys do what you want, I guess. And yeah, it was a really fun episode, actually. Even if Miku lost quite a bit of points in my book by going full Tumblr feminist. But anyway, let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. Thank you for the weather report. <laughs> she scratched the cat's chin out. Thought she was doing that to Ikano at first. <laughs> wow. Just just watching them secretly from a distance. I can get behind that. Presence. <laughs> Apparently some nice stuff. <laughs> hey, don't be mean to Ichigo. <laughs> She has enough suffering in the show as it is. <laughs> like a birthday. <laughs> that you all kind of share. Of course it's about birds. Yeah, you do that, Zorome. <laughs> Numerous accomplishments. Like not dying. There's more that we can say about the other group. <laughs> uh, Zero Man. You really are like the ideal uh, parasite for Papa. You just don't really question anything, you just try your best to make him proud. That's pretty much what they want, I'm sure. Some people would call characters like that, you know, a tool. Just saying. You know, the show's kind of had... The show has brought up the fact that Mitsuru, I think his name is, is not happy with his partner. And we have seen him a couple times together with Kokoro. So when are they going to try to do some kind of NTR thing where they switch partners? Just a thought that I had. Because we haven't brought really that, that concept into the show yet. Like, we had Ichigo who wanted to be partners with Hiro, but couldn't because of compatibility issues. So, we could have somebody who is a party, has a partner that switches another one because of compatibility issues. That may be more swinging than in TR, but depending on how they wanted to play it out. But anyway, back to the show. <laughs> like a horror movie shot, just... <laughs> Thinking of from behind her first person. Well, you could always give her the D. I'm sure she'd appreciate that present, but that works too. Naomi. <laughs> now you can see her pretty horns. <laughs> well, yeah, especially if it's somebody that you like. Yeah, more spying on people. Yeah, poor Ichigo. She didn't get a present from him. I probably did in the past. Of course he did. 
I wanted a basketball. These kids have such a poor and sad existence. Looks good. You kind of lost your chance there, uh, Gora. <laughs> well, she does when she's with Darlene. <laughs> yeah, he's been doing a lot of that this episode. Yes. So you're going to try like again? Yeah, when you guys try to kiss me? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, each goes hero, hero. But it's one-sided. <laughs> I'm wanting to kiss you. Wow, dude. <laughs> you really didn't bring that up. But they have already kissed once. They just didn't help things at the time. There's a lot of one-sided love in this show. A little bit, but probably some things he's been thinking about for a while. Just finally trying to bring them up. Yes, that was pretty obvious. <laughs> Good for you. She still likes Hero, though, so... Well, you do get to ride with Ichigo and the Franks, so that does count for a lot. Uh, yeah, I've taken that out. Hopefully she doesn't lose it. Oh, <laughs> so cute. You turn the lights off before I had a chance to screenshot it. I don't appreciate that. Gutenberg class. That's that's pretty bad. <laughs> you uh, sneaking a peek at Ichigo? Not that I can blame you, but yeah. But luckily you're in Mech, so I'm sure you'll be fine. And I feel like that might not be completely natural. <laughs> but man. <laughs> uh, but more importantly, it's dangerous. <laughs> and that thing wasn't so pink and girly looking. That'd be a really cool mech. <laughs> Oh no, not the tentacles. Oh, for some I thought she was gonna like, tear it apart. Like, it would tear her apart. Man, this thing really is dangerous. And very gross. It's really not. She's down on all four. <laughs> yeah, I. Don't do anything stupid. I know it's asking a lot of you, Zoro Man, but I had hope. <laughs> it's almost like he doesn't want you to destroy his core or something. That didn't really help. I just slightly changed the problem. Uh, 
Wake up, Goro. There's a lot of errors. I have to try turning it on and off again. Off and on again. You okay? Oh. <laughs> that all happened really quickly. But yeah, that, I guess that cleans why she's not there. <laughs> yeah, you ejected into her and she's suddenly knocked out. But yeah, you're still in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, is are you not aware of this? Nope, things are not looking great. Uh, I did not know they had retreated, so he really is in trouble. But at least each of you go safe. That's, uh, that's the important thing here. Not that I want Goro to die or anything, but it's much less of an issue with just him in there. Yeah. Well, yeah, we gotta save him before that. I can tell you're very concerned about this. Oh yeah, Ichigo's partner is the one that's in danger, so... Yeah. As soon as she was awake and knew what was going on. It's a complicated situation. <laughs> uh, because he loves you. Wants you to be safe. <laughs> Just back away slowly. <laughs> yeah, do you remember this? I mean, Miku likes doing that anyway. <laughs> uh. Wow. Let's, uh, let's all cool down a bit. Or at least, you know... Vaporizes its bodily fluids. <laughs> okay, so that's something at least. Thank you for your valuable contribution, Zorame. But yeah, that's a bit more important. Really wish Hiro and Ichigo would switch positions because that's really bothering me. Well, sure, but uh that yes, that's that's still a problem. I'd rather them not kill off Goro, he's pretty cool. If Ichigo is still with him, I would say, yeah, I guarantee they're going to get rescued. But if it's just Goro, they, they might just kill him off. I don't think they're going to, but I'm just saying there's a chance. As long as somebody pouring a glass of milk. But yeah, it's, he's in a bad situation. I do not envy him in the slightest. Wear it. <laughs> You're useless without me.
Well, I'm not going anywhere, so... <laughs> yes. Yes, she is, even though there's no video footage. <laughs> that's not really a plan, that's a wish list. Yeah, it's not looking good for Goro. He's kind of raising these death flags, so I'm getting more and more worried about him. <laughs> so there's a hole we can penetrate, is what you're saying. That got Ichigo's attention. And there's such, such unique designs. Of the mechs, if that wasn't obvious. I really do not even remember the names of the mechs. If anyone has a list of those... Uh... Well, that's a change of pace. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. That's a spot. You just gotta go in. Just make sure to pull out before it gets too bad. But that's really reckless. Yeah, it's not really a matter of waiting, it's a matter of not dying before you get there. Wow. So that's why I picked Fi, so nobody would miss be around him. <laughs> Man getting told by Ichigo. I'll fight you in his place. <laughs> yeah, you really can't blame Goro for falling in love with Ichigo. She's pretty great. <laughs> and then Ichigo wrecked them all. <laughs> uh... Oh, there's Hero. <laughs> and everybody likes Hero. At least I think that's Hero. He has a fairly generic character design, so... Yeah, that's Hero, alright. <laughs> uh... Yeah, definitely pushing the Ichigo and Goro ship hard this episode. Can't really make that promise in this world. Or I guess in any world, really. <coughs> no more so in this world. Yeah, but don't self-destruct. For several reasons. <laughs> wow, more presents. Don't do anything hasty, Goro. Oh, 
She came in with a splash. <laughs> yeah. And why are you all wet? Yeah, but you are a filthy liar. He was about to self destruct without you. <laughs> Something. Yeah, don't you remember the flashback? And man, Ichigo is amazing. <laughs> Still striking that pose. <laughs> Yeah, I bet. Definitely want to protect that smile. <laughs> uh, my god. Here we go. Time to get out of here. Nice little hug there. And then it self-destructs. <laughs> Jeez. That was an explosion. At least it's, it's gone now. And so is half the ground that was beneath it. But at least everyone's alive. <laughs> uh, there's my payback. Oh, I think she has a need for a new hair clip. I think you can. I think you can handle that. I did kind of see that coming. That she would lose her hair clip at some point. He would give her his as a final chance. <laughs> I'm not sure yet, though. Give me a few more episodes. <laughs> but he finally told her. Oh, for a, for a second, I was thought I was gonna cop a feel, but I guess it would have kind of ruined the moment. <laughs> I love she. I love Hero better. Also, thank you for not dying. <laughs> I bet not. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> well, she's happy because you're alive now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, I bet. Triangle Bomb, it's an amazing title. This show's had a lot of good titles, but that one's pretty good. Back to where I sleep over redo. But yeah, this, this entire episode is basically the Ichigo Goro ship. I still love this CD though, especially that part. What am I getting some of this in the series? Yeah, Ichigo was just wonderful this episode. Like, I like Zero Two and all, but I, I would not choose Zero Two over Ichigo, if I'm being honest. If we're talking waifu material. So that was the ninth episode of Darling and the Franks, and this episode, like I said, definitely a episode fo dedicated to the Ichigo Goro ship. And yeah, they started off fighting a Klaxosaur that was really big, very gross looking, as Miku put it, I believe. And they fought it, 
Unfortunately, Goro kind of got stuck in there. Well, I think it was originally his Onomaz mech that got stuck, and then Goro and Ichigo, like, swapped positions. And then they got stuck, and then Goro ejected Ichigo out of the mech, so she wouldn't be stuck as well. Uh, probably not the smartest move, because they kind of need to have both of them in there to pilot the thing and to escape, but oh well. So after that, everybody, uh, everybody left. And they needed to, well, they they wanted to rescue Goro, especially Ichigo. And yeah, that's what they did. Zero Two pointed out the fact that there was an exhaust hole. So what they decided to do was climb on top of it. They saw the exhaust hole. Then they fisted it and then injected Ichigo inside of it. So she could swim to back to her mech. And be back together with Goro. And then they could, uh, you know, talk things out and then escape. Which they did. And he left behind a bomb, which blew him up, and he splattered into a bajillion pieces and a huge explosion, and everyone was alive and well, and it was wonderful. So as far as what the actual actions of the episode itself, that is what happened. But there was very much a side plot involving Ichigo and Goro, because early on in the episode, we had Goro talking to Hiro about his feelings for Ichigo. They were like, hey, remember how I said I didn't know, didn't know what love was? Well, you know, I love Ichigo, so I think I'm starting to understand a bit more that it's basically somebody who's important to you, special to you, whatever you want to say. And we got some flashbacks here and there about them as children. Apparently the hair clip that she has, she got from Hiro, which Goro made one as well, but Hiro kind of beat him to the punch. So he was eventually able to give it to her later on in the episode, that's luckily. So, you know, better late than never. And we did get some moments of just Goro and Ichigo together. Because Goro apparently likes picking fights, so everyone will hate him and leave him alone, I guess. Not really the best strategy, in my opinion, for that end, but hey, whatever. But Ichigo saw this, and she helped him fight off the guys. And they won, with the two of them working together, similar to how the two of them work together now, in order to not die by Klaxosaurs. It has been clear through pretty much the entire series that Goro has liked Ichigo, and that Ichigo has liked Hiro. <laughs> And that Yero likes Zero too. So, a bit of a, a lot of one sided feelings, really. But it does seem like Ichigo does have some feelings for Goro, but, you know, when Goro finally did confess to her, which he did near the end there, she didn't really give much of an answer, probably mostly because of Hiro and she hasn't fully resolved her feelings for him yet. So, but I think eventually she will give uh, Goro an answer that she likes, that he likes. But yeah, so this episode definitely proved how amazing Ichigo is. And really is mind-boggling why Piro would choose Zero Two over Ichigo, but nah, if, if you don't have that compatibility, you don't have that compatibility, I guess. Just it's just unfortunate. Thank you for watching, and thank you, Snoki, the Dragon of Oshu, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.